We need to talk about Lauren Smith Fields. She is a 23 year old whose body was found on December 12, 2021, over a month ago, and we still don't have any answers. She went out on a bumble date with a 37 year old man, and then he ended up calling police for help with her body. The police suspected that he was a nice guy and there was no criminal investigation. A lot of things are adding up here, so let's go ahead and get into it. So Lauren was a 23-year-old student who was working on her education and having fun. She was on Bumble and she met a guy and went out with him. He ended up being the last person to see her alive and the one who called the police. For whatever reason, the police decided not to investigate this guy and they said that there was no foul play involved in her death. The police actually ruled that she passed away unexpectedly. Hmm, unexpectedly. How did they come to that conclusion so quickly? And her parents have been trying to get some answers, yet the police have done nothing. No one is going to discard my daughter like she's rubbish. She's not rubbish. She had a life. She had a business. She was in college. And she had family and friends that love her. And no one is going to discard Lauren Smithfield's my daughter as she's rubbish. They're going to they're going to answer everything. Are people going to lose their jobs? I want that bastard thrown his back. I want him back. I can't even imagine what her parents are going through right now because they weren't even really notified that their daughter passed away. The police did not do their due diligence and go around and inform the family members or do an investigation. Her brother says that the detective told him that she met some guy on Bumble that night and the brother's like, wait, hold hold up. Who's this guy? Like, what's going on here? And the police said, oh, well, he sounds like a nice guy, so don't worry about it. It's like they just see this nice average looking dude or whatever and they're just accepting his story that this 23 year old somehow mysteriously passed away the man that lauren went out with that night is matthew lafountain let's talk a little bit about what he said happened that night so according to this incident report they i guess went out and they hung out and they ended up going to sleep together and this man woke up to find lauren passed out and she had stuff coming out of her nose some blood and stuff and she wasn't breathing um the responding officer actually described this man as frantic and trembling and visibly shaken he claims that lauren got sick the night before when they were drinking but he really didn't give a lot of details i've got a news clip where they break down the situation a little bit more so let's react to that the i team obtained this police report of the response to a 911 call from lauren's apartment on the morning of december 12th from a white male identified as Matthew LaFountain. The investigator notes he was trembling and visibly shaken. LaFountain said they met on the dating site Bumble, began drinking shots of tequila, and Lauren became ill. That later they played some games, ate some food, and started to watch a movie. He says he carried her to her bedroom and laid her in her bed. He then laid down next to her and fell asleep. He woke up again at approximately 0630 hours, and she was laying on her right side, was coming out of her right nostril onto the bed and she was not breathing. Okay, so obviously we weren't there, so we don't know what really happened, and maybe this did happen, but it would have been a freak incident because a 23-year-old doesn't just drink some tequila and then pass away. Like, trust me, I know how tequila works. What I do have an issue with is the fact that he was never questioned or arrested or anything because um the cop said that he seemed like a nice guy he should have been like fully questioned like the story wasn't vetted is there even a real timeline like looking at the report that was even featured in the news document it wasn't a clear timeline was she sick earlier on the night then they played the games like i just i would like to know exactly what happened there because i feel like they're just accepting that he she passed away and why would the police just accept this and it's not even like they investigated the crime scene like they didn't go and get evidence or anything which again like this is someone who just passed away in their early 20s she had so much more life to live her family actually collected items from the house like um protective items uh, a sedative 
tell uh, numerous items of evidence. Why wasn't this ever collected by police? And their family is saying that I feel like because he's a white guy and she's a black girl, they're just throwing it under the rug. It makes me think that this Matthew guy has some connection to the police or like what's going on here? Like what is their issue? Because they literally won't even list him as a person of interest, even though he was the one that was right with her that night and hung out with her. And, um, you know, they only knew each other for three days. So I would think that he he would be very interesting to look into. And I want to remind you guys that she does have a loving family who wants justice and they're not just going to let this go. And they're pissed off at the Bridgeport police station because somebody's not doing their job. The family said that the detective at the police station told them to stop calling him for information. They say the detective promised to come by the apartment. Never showed up. The family says the relationship with police devolved from there. No contact from December 13th until December 29th. They returned to the apartment to clear out Lauren's belongings and claim a new detective came by to say he'd taken over the case from Detective Cronin. I don't know if Detective Cronin just like had some bias towards Lauren or the situation, but that timeline doesn't look good. And any reasonable person would be super upset with police for sleeping on this whole situation. And even the other detective like acknowledged that the last detective did not do his job. He said he effed up, he messed up, he f Cronin, he messed up, he like he didn't know what he was doing, he messed up the case. Lauren and her family deserve justice. And it was about to be her 24th birthday. Her 24th birthday just passed. And they actually did a march and a rally because the police, again, aren't investigating this properly. So they're going to go and protest. The police are still waiting on a cause of death from the chief medical examiner's office, which I don't know why it's taking them so long. Like this happened back in December. So like, why is it taking so long? So I'm glad that people are out there and protesting and adding pressure on to the police. <laughs> It's clear that this police station has failed Lauren and her family, and there are so many other young women out there in the country and across the world who are failed by police every day. The police stand their ground and say that they've actually done everything they pretty much can, and they're trying their best to figure out what happened to Lauren. But there are elements of misinformation out there, and it sounds like they're trying to protect their reputation and kind of dismiss Lauren's case like they did from the start. This Matthew guy needs to be fully invested Investigated, and police need to treat everyone like they're important and their lives matter because the fact that Lauren was so just written off from the start and that she just passed away of, you know, no foul play. It's just like there's got to be something wrong here because no normal person would just assume that a 23 year old would just pass away like you know, there's a sedative pill in the home. Are we not considering this a crime scene anymore? And her parents actually said that a part of their soul died. I will never be the same again. I don't even know how to even move from the next day to the next minute. I am really dead inside. I cannot imagine what her family is going through, and it makes me sick listening to the story. And I want to come on here and talk about it just because a lot of you guys asked me to cover it. And just getting into the story itself, it's just disturbing because like a young beautiful lady on Bumble like that's very normal and this guy is just kind of getting away and I feel like the police just oh yeah he's a nice dude it's like hmm well that's very convenient for him so a lot of things aren't adding up here and I'll try to list any resources below I've been looking for like maybe like if they have a page or something so I'll try to list that below but I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below and I'll see you guys soon bye